But while I'm going over this, I came across a statement regarding the court's jurisdiction. Now the court always say that it has jurisdiction over something. Okay, hold on y'all. My boy said in the background, Aloe Black, he's saying, hold on. Okay, he said, hold on tight, he's saying. Because we're about to go for a ride, y'all. Let me show y'all what's going on here. And I promise you, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, do you see how it says the court has jurisdiction? It says the court has jurisdiction. So, we're going to copy that. The court has jurisdiction over the plaintiff's federal claims. Now, I didn't mean to hit that. Whew, I don't want to go to no other link. I, uh, let's do this. Dang it, it did it anyway. It's not what I was trying to do. So, let's go back. And I'm going to pause you guys just in case it takes me around the Wonderland. R real quick, what I'm going to get back to, this is the reason why I was doing the video uh, originally during the research. Indeed, the legislature or government agencies cannot constitutionally confer, constitutionally, pay attention, cannot constitutionally confer upon individuals or private corporations acting primarily for their own profit any right to deprive a person of lawful enjoyment of their property. Ladies and gentlemen, when you are doing it for profit okay that's the issue okay now what I what that's the point I'm doing uh, when it's not for profit they didn't got no jurisdiction not because I said it they say it hold on the court has jurisdiction over the plaintiff's federal claims pursuant to title 28 nothing about the Constitution title 28 cannot give them jurisdiction constitutionally Title 28 is a statute, ladies and gentlemen. It also has supplemental jurisdiction over the plaintiff's state law claims pursuant to another statute. I don't want to access the court under its statutory authority. I want to access the court under its constitutional authority. Isn't that the whole purpose for us, having the right to access the court under its constitutional authority? Isn't this uh, the right? to justice shall be administered without delay, without prejudice, without denial? Well, I want constitutional access. I don't want statutory access. So challenge their statutory authority. Challenge your right to access the court under its constitutional authority. When you challenge jurisdiction, challenge its in rem jurisdiction because that's their venue. Their venue is statutory. Their in rem personam jurisdictions are statutory pay attention section 6 article 2 of the constitution section blah 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 provides the right and justice shall be administered without delay without denial without prejudice the court should scrupulously maintain the right of every litigant to an impartial and disinterested tribunal for the determination of his rights, constitutional rights, because it's a constitutional provision. This is Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Okay? It's the same in every state. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to go because I haven't eaten. It's now going on 1 o'clock, and I said I was going to eat. So I got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go. Got to go. Have a good day, everybody.